Uh, thank you, presiding officer. Um, in Alexander Park, in my constituency, there's a wrought iron fountain, a proud and iconic symbol of that, this part of the East End, which many would recognise. Manufactured in the Saracen Foundry for the 1901 Great Exhibition, a reminder of our great industrial heritage, a heritage dismantled by the misguided policies of successive UK governments, symbolic of the decline of this part of Glasgow, from industrial powerhouse to byword for underachieving and disadvantaged communities. I want to talk to you today about ambition, about opportunity, and about how this Scottish Government's programme to take Scotland forward is designed to deliver for the people of Scotland and the people of Glasgow province. But first I want to thank my predecessor, Paul Martin, for his 23 years of public service to the people of this part of Glasgow. I wish Paul every success in whatever he chooses to do next. There is life after politics as well as before it, as I know. In my previous life, I worked all over the world building businesses and creating jobs, witnessing how countries with far fewer natural resources and human potential in Scotland have built fairer and more prosperous societies than we've enjoyed. The value of a strategic focus on support and innovation and building an industrial base. Scotland, under this SNP government, is making good progress. Continued growth and in inward investment, 50% up on last year. Scotland now with higher average wages in the UK, but with still far too many left behind. Her historical productivity gap with the rest of the UK now almost wiped out. Scotland benefiting from higher profile internationally and increased confidence at home, but there's still so much more to do. Presiding officer, this is my first speech in this parliament, and I want to use this time to talk about my constituency of Glasgow province. I want to talk about young people with ideas. Uh, Marie Malloy and George Smith here today in the gallery, two young people from Proven with ambition, starting their own unique businesses in the premium retail sector and in the music business, both helped by Connex Enterprise Initiative run by Johnny Walker here today as well. Thank you very much for coming along and uh, listening to the debate today. I want to talk about the steps the Scottish Government is taking to create opportunity for young people. 30,000 modern apprenticeships increasingly focused on technology. The Opportunities for All programme offering a place in learning or training to every 16 to 19 year old. The STEM strategy to inspire young people to engage with technology and the jobs grant supporting young people into employment. Policies to deliver this government's target to reduce youth unemployment by 40% in the lifetime of this coming parliament. I want to talk about entrepreneurs with established businesses from across my constituency who come to me with great ideas for new processes and new technologies, new ways to expand and create jobs, driving innovation, the lifeblood of new business and a strong economy. Something I understand from my own experience of growing and exporting business from scratch and something this SNP government understands, focusing the enterprise agencies to support innovation for start-up businesses. I want to talk about the countless small businesses across province who have benefited significantly from the small business bonus and about established East End businesses with great plans to grow. Locally on Totspots, a UK market leader in their sector with a largely female workforce designing and manufacturing environmentally friendly baby products, supplying the finished baby box and ready to supply our own Scottish baby box, creating jobs locally. Soapworks, originally part of Anita Roddick's body shop, now locally owned and still maintaining her legacy of ethical business after 30 years in the East End. And I urge members to support motions I'll have circulating um, in support of both of those businesses in the next day or so. And about what this Scottish Government is doing to help businesses, particularly those who seek to expand into new markets. Reviewing the business rate system to ensure it supports economic growth and job creation maintaining the most competitive business tax environment in the UK, ensuring 100% access to superfast broadband, pressurising the UK Government to adopt the prompt payment code so that small businesses don't have to wait for their cash, creating new international investment hubs, trebling the number of export advisors, committing to massive infrastructure investment, five billion in rail alone in the coming parliament, and reducing the burden of APD, facilitating more direct flights to the markets we need to expand into. I want to talk about the jobs fairs we're running in my constituency and local communities across province, working with Anne McLaughlin MP and her team, linking up those seeking employment with local businesses looking for skilled people and the range of support services available. Practical help at a local level, building confidence and building aspiration. But economic development is about more than just the bottom line. It's about the proud record this Scottish Government has leading the way internationally on inclusive growth. Not only because it's the right thing to do, but because we know that tackling inequality boosts productivity. The Women in Enterprise Action Framework, the 10-year strategy to grow and develop social enterprises, the Partnership for Change campaign supporting gender balance, and the Business Pledge encouraging progressive practices 
in the workplace. For too long, we've accepted lack of ambition, lack of aspiration. This government's programme is focused on can-do Scotland, and that message is nowhere more important than the areas I represent. To build a fairer Scotland, a more prosperous Scotland, this SNP government taking Scotland forward. Thank you.